The death of Steven Hillenburg has left many animators confused and lost on what to do next. SpongeBob seemed to be over to all of us. Without Steven we were in depression and some of us created desperate SpongeBob episodes with darker content explaining the feelings of sorrow, anger, and desperation. None of these episodes ever aired on TV except for one exception that shocked many fans of SpongeBob. The airing of the episode was an accident. A mix-up with another Spongebob episode, it only aired once, it was called Squidward's Last Stand. The title screen was much darker than any other titles and was written in green. As for the background, it was a cemetery. The beginning of the episode had Spongebob waking up at 26 hours 11 minutes p.m. This is a reference to Stephen's death which is November 26, 2018. SpongeBob seemed happy and excited to go work to the Krusty Krab once again. He brushed his teeth and dressed up. Then he walked to Squidward's house and knocked on his door while he was playing his clarinet. Then Squidward opened the door with a face filled with anger and he screamed. You ruined my clarinet practice. SpongeBob stayed happy even after the screaming and said that he wanted to remind him of his job at the Krusty Krab as the cashier. I have taken it off for my clarinet show. No, in this instance. Squidward shut the door right in front of SpongeBob and continued playing. SpongeBob was eager to join Squidward in his show so he asked Patrick for directions, but he knew nothing. But he gladly joined SpongeBob to find the instrument shop nearby. There were all of the instruments on display. SpongeBob explored for a bit and ran right to his job, leaving Patrick alone in the shop. Everything went down when Patrick tried to catch up to SpongeBob. He bumped into many instruments and cases, and all the instruments fell and broke with the cases. The cashier threw them out. After SpongeBob was done he saw the destroyed shop and was devastated, and he knew that it was Patrick's fault. While Squidward watched TV he saw that the instrument shop was closed for repairs. He was shocked at the news and searched for his clarinet, which was burned by Patrick as he thought it was a log to start a fire. Oh. Here it is said Patrick ashamed. Squidward cried and locked his door and windows to keep Patrick away. Patrick returned to his house as SpongeBob came and they talked. Patrick, how did you destroy the shop? It was an accident, I swear. I'll make sure to keep in close proximity next time. SpongeBob heard Squidward cry, but decided to leave him alone. Squidward was sitting in front of his closed TV trying to forget the entire situation but he could not. That show was everything for him, and he had lost his chance of participating. His TV room seemed different and realistic as if it was a picture taken somewhere. His eyes seemed human-like as he let out tears of sadness and cried silently. He then started to talk to himself. My life is trash. I'm no longer capable of enduring it because of these stupid childish neighbors. He then stared at the camera and mumbled something. It was pretty hard to tell what he said, but it was something like this. I, I can feel his presence. Steven, is that you? That recording didn't seem scripted. It seemed as if an animator actually saw Steven as he was voice acting. Then Squidward stood up and walked to a wall, staring at it as he said. My life isn't complete without you, Steven. Squidward started smashing his head on the wall vigorously. He seemed bruised after his head banging. He then stood at his room in front of his window. His eyes became static-like and the rest of his body seemed dark. Maybe the graphics were broken at this point somehow. Then he stood next to his window. His final words were the following. I refuse to exist without a purpose, without a master. His voice was the lowest and the loudest at this point. He opened his window and jumped off. His bones cracked as he reached the floor, and he was lying there motionless for one minute. In the last frame of the episode the voice of the creator of the episode stated, Rest in peace, Steven Hillenburg. We have done our best to unair this episode and we locked away any copy of it as we have received many complaints about the episode. The creator of the episode died from a similar death to Squidward. We tried to keep him with us, but he was a broken man after Steven's death. There is a meaning to your life on earth, don't give up and keep going.